don't know how bad she's hurt. This is the story of how Charlie came to join our family just two short weeks ago. So I was getting ready to take a bath so I could get cleaned up and shoot one of my own videos for my cat toy channel. So my husband had just left the house so he could go make one of his river scuba diving videos with his friend Britton, and then this happened. All right, so we're right by the road, getting ready to dive. And Jeremy, he's right down here. Right down here. Chances are, she ain't looking good. Doesn't look like she's been ran over, but it looks like she may have fell off of a car. And like kind of bounced down the road. Oh so. my gosh. So what? we're going to take this kitten to the vet, right? Well, we're going to go get Candace. You know, or, yeah, well, Candace will know what to do. Yeah, we'll Jeremy get Candace. Like. We'll probably go down to the, at the kitten rescue, get it to yes. the vet, go from there. What a start to the day. Hey. I just had a feeling. We drove by it about a mile down the road, and I was like, man, I just can't go. I just I can't. I can't just drive by assuming it's dead. You know, because it just didn't look Yeah, right. no, that's awful. And I know you're allergic to cats, but I am a... I'm a cat guy. I like cats. I like cats, too, but they're... Oh, look, she's she's opening her eyes. She rolled over. Hi. That really bad. Hey, sweetie. Oh. And, of course, being the filmmaker that he is, Britton started filming what was going on. I know, I'm really surprised it's alive. Oh my gosh. And of course, if you're wondering why he's on the gross floorboard, in my husband's old dive truck, the air conditioning actually comes out best on the feet. She is breathing. I'm gonna put her on the seat so she's not around all this stuff. Oh, hi there. Hey, hi. Are you okay? Oh, she's got blood on her eyes. Oh, poor thing. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. 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 She, hey, she was breathing in dirt, so I put her on the... I just put her on the chair right here because she. She looks like she took a roll. I don't know how bad she's hurt, but she's. I don't know how how bad she's. She's poo, and I don't know if that's like yeah. internal injuries. There's. Okay, so lungs are actually still clear, but there's a popping sound which might be a diaphragmatic hernia. So we are about eight to ten weeks old in age. Definitely need that happens on impact. So it's not blood. No, she wasn't in the middle of the road, she was on the curb. Probably got just thrown back. Remember how I said I've never had an orange kitten? Oh no, was it Calico that was in there? <laughs> Can I keep it? <laughs> she's hurt. If she like, she needs to go to the and get at least sub Q fluids, but let me call Stacy, see who she recommends. So as my husband's driving down the highway, he sees fur on the side of the road, right on the solid white line, on the asphalt, 
and he makes it about a mile down the road and then can't stand it any longer, turns around and goes back to check on the kitten. He had to see if the kitten was still alive or not. So at this point, Jeremy turns the kitten over to me and they went diving. Four little babies in and out of consciousness were about to go to the vet. Already cleaned up the face some. It looked like there was old dirt just from like eating being a kitten and stuff. But we also had this road rash. Found on hot cement, it's already about 85 degrees on black asphalt. So um, I also have cold water on the pad to help kind of get the temperature down some. What's up, Cindy? Is there another kitten? I am sitting up some, not wanting to open my eyes, but a little bit. Okay. I'm trying to get my eyes open, but they're popping. I know. Cindy, she's not sure about it. She says, oh no, another kitten in the house. So the rescue group that I work with, checked him out, we got medications for him. Apparently he had a really bad up respiratory infection before he had his accident. So we got stuff in his eyes. He's just nice and sleepy. He couldn't get fluids under his skin. Antibiotics, all that goodness. Ooh. We are getting some shop Q fluids. We got some drip so it's not too fast. everywhere. All right, here we are. We just finished eating for the first time on our own. Got some baby food. Oh, do you want more? There we go. It's about nine o'clock at night on the first day. Still not getting up. But this is the first real good sign. Hi, baby. Are you scared? Hi. Oh, hi. I'm trying to get both eyes open now. And that eye goo just won't stop coming out, huh? Can I hold you? Is it okay? Yeah. We'll clean up your face more in the morning when you're not so sore, huh? He finally chilled out again. Now I can't move. Morning of day two, we're eating. Oh, we discovered some dry food. He just got his first bath. We were able to get some more of the crusties off the face. Clean all the dead fleas off. See, I look rough. Can you hear this? It's his first purr. Sydney's gonna be mad I sold her toy. What are they killing? 
Alright. Oh god, I'm not on my lap again. I set him down to see if he'd play with the ball. And if he said no, I want to go right back in your lap. It's day two, and the more I see him walk around, and he keeps doing this odd stretching, like more than normal cats stretching, um, and then just checking him out. I mean, look how that's his entire back leg. Like, it's just almost all bone. There's just a little bit of muscle on it. His thigh isn't even, like, an inch wide. And his face has a little bit of an oddity shape to it, even without some of that swelling. So I'm thinking he might just be our special kitty. How cute is this? He just wants to love. Okay. Thank you. Okay. He loves you. <laughs> My daughter's in here for the first time. He said that he likes her too. He wants to give you kisses. Been down to try to give him kisses. He wants kisses. <laughs> it's okay. He wants more. Look me. <laughs> hey, good morning. It's day three. Oh, yeah. And I finally figured out how to use the litter box overnight. Come here, Charlie. Oh, that's my handsome boy. Yeah. Oh, already purred? You want to eat? I know you want lovins, but how about you eat? Poor guy's back legs are so weak. He can't stand the entire time that he's eating. He has to sit. You done eating? As you can see how weak his little back legs are. Instant purr with a pet. Third eyelids are all the way down this morning. Oh, Rob Beauty Christy in the morning, huh? Go oh, back to the food. That's why I only gave him half a can. He wants to try to overeat. So if you look at the whiskers on this side, and nice and straight this side, they're a little kinky and frizzy. This was the side that was down on the hot pavement, and the other side was up. I think it for it cinch his whiskers. I'm not a 
think we're gonna win yet. But it's only day three, right? This is day three, and he's already starting to get the hair growth around his nose again. Look how skinny his poor little leg is. There's just no meat on the top part of it. We are at the end of day three, and he has found his spunk. His back legs are weak, especially that right back leg. Um, he, you can kind of see it there. He, when he goes to run, he does bunny hop on the back legs, but front legs just a going. And he can't seem to jump up on any, anything, but he'll try to jump down. It's not so graceful. What you doing? You trying to get up in my lap? Oh. <laughs> You can't decide if you want to bite me or lick me. Day for day three. Day four. We pull out an old toy. Ten minutes later. Just waiting on the vet to show up. Lovely, huh? That's where you want to sit? Backpacks open. He just happened. 
chilling with Mama Bear and she just pulled up. Yeah. Got the weird show stuff going on in the foot. It's all bent. It's easing off. Here we go. Breaking my heart. He wants out so bad. update it's been two weeks he is just the sweetest boy he purrs he cuddles he gives kisses if he wants a kiss and you're not ready for it he will actually grab your face in his paws and pull you to him even in the middle of the night <laughs> and look all the fur is growing back on his face he's just a kitten Yes, he still has some wonky legs. Just a little off balance, nothing bad. Just some skinniness. And he still has his little muscle spasms. Um, but as far as we can tell at this point, um, his toxoplasmosis did come back negative. We will recheck him in like another month just to be on the safe side and make sure it's not toxo. That it is uh, what they call CH, cerebellar hyperplasia. I believe is how you say it and some of the issues could be head trauma from being thrown out on his face um, but because of the lack of muscle development and kind of the wideness to his eyes which isn't as severe and noticeable once his fur grew back it kind of camouflaged a bit and he's got some awfully short legs for his body so at this point, we're just assuming he has just a mild form of the CH, nothing too severe. And I'll give you more updates as he grows up. But he's definitely my little baby. No, right. Oh yeah, and his third eyelids come up a little. They don't go all the way down. But he's a happy boy. Look, he smiles. Do you see that smile? He and he purrs and he gives kisses yeah show him your smile oh yes just looks in your eyes like you're the only thing that matters. It is the sweetest thing. I wanted to go ahead and give a special shout out to Per Nation Cat Alliance for that emergency care that Charlie desperately needed. And then Pets Premier Mobile Vet for helping us with the long-term care that's going on. And of course, to my husband and to Britton for documenting and rescuing our sweet boy. <laughs> 